every time I want to do this. There we go. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Right. Open that. Close that. Okay. Oogie doogie. Um. So I'm just making sure I haven't got any. Ah, here we go. There she is. Hi, Katie. So I thought you weren't coming then. I was like, oh, I wonder where she is. Okay, right, we'll get started. So upper body strength, 30 minutes, all abilities. Um, just pop this up a tiny bit. Right, I'm just gonna grab dumbbells. So you can use dumbbells, you can use barbell, or you can use a backpack, which I'll grab now, and you can use who are going to use a backpack. A handbag instead. Okay, so you've got the handbag option, backpack option, and you've got the dumbbell, and you've got the option. Okay, so we're just gonna start by Warming up our upper body. So we're just gonna circle your arms forwards and jog on the spot as well, just to get our core temperature up. <sighs> Sorry, I'm just trying to readjust. Right, there we go. Just warming up the shoulders and chest and backwards. And wrap your arms around your body. And we're going to do a standing cat cow. So place your hands on your thighs. You're going to arch your back, stick your bottom out, round your back, tuck your bum in, arch, round, arch, round. So here we're just warming up the upper back and chest. And relax. Okay, so we're going to go through the movements. Now, combo number one is going to be a superset. So we're going to start with the bent over row. Now, two options. So with our bent over row, we want to make sure that we bring our hands to the side of our bum, elbows up and squeeze your shoulder blades. So that's your dumbbell version. If you're using a barbell, I want you to face your palms up to the ceiling and drop it and pull it. Sorry, someone just coming late. Um, pop that in. Okay, so if you're using a barbell, palms to the ceiling, bring it to your belly button and row. So that's exercise one. Exercise two is gonna be shoulder press seated. So you're gonna sit on the floor with your legs straight, pressing up to the middle. Now don't let the dumbbells touch and come back down. My elbows are pointing to the floor. Okay, so one round bed and row and one seated shoulder press. We're going to do it timed, so wait for my cue and we'll go together. Now, if your weight is quite heavy, feel free to stop and rest early um, or lighten the load. Okay, so starting with bed and row in three, two, one, we've got 30 seconds. So we're concentrated on loading the weight in the hamstrings, weight into the heels, squeezing the shoulder blades, working the upper back, bringing it into the waistband. Or if you're using your dumbbells, hands to the side of your bum. Five, four, three, two, pop it down. Okay, sit on the ground. I'll show you the backpack version. So whatever you've got, whether that be barbell, dumbbell, you're gonna press up and down. So whatever piece of equipment you have, and breathe. Pull the core in nice and tight. If your weights are quite heavy, you can do one weight at a time. Five, four, Three, two, and one. Okay, pop it down, I'm gonna 
do round two. So starting these combos is we're doing our chest and shoulders and back and shoulders even. Okay, round two. Then over rows. In three, two, one, straighten up we go. So we're focusing on just beneath the shoulder blade area here, the back, upper back muscles. Now we don't want to rush the reps. We want to go nice and slow and controlled with a small pause at the top. So if we go nice and slow when we lift weights, we burn more calories, increase intensity, recruit more muscle fibers, and we get stronger. That's one. Now come down to the floor. In a seated position with your legs straight. Three, two, one, off you go. So by sitting down like this, we're gonna really engage our core muscles, but also helping our lower back. We can also do this on a chair or standing. Five seconds to go. Four, three, two, and pop them down. Back on your feet, one more round of this combo. Bend over rows, in three, two, one, off we go, lift and squeeze. This is round three of combo one. So this is our third set here, lift and squeeze. So imagine when you come up, you're trying to hold a 50 pound note between your shoulder blades. So we're standing, we're rowing. Five, four, three, two, one. Take a seat on the floor. Shoulder presses in three, two, one, off we go. So working our front shoulder muscles. Twenty seconds to go. That's it, keep going, we got it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and pop them down. Whew. Give your arms a little stretch if you need it. Right, we're gonna go into some push-ups. So make sure you clear your space, you've got some room. Okay, so we, we have got several different push-up options, depending on your strength level. You've got a wall push-up. Now, any push-up you do, just want to make sure your elbows are down towards your waist, not tucked right in, flared out, pointing down to your ankles, okay? Your hands, if you can see, they're just underneath my shoulders. We're going to go with a medium grip, so we're not going wide, we're not going narrow, we're going to go about medium. So your thumbs around armpit um, area. Okay, so a uh, wall push-up looks like this. Now you're planting your chest between your hands. That's a beginner option. Beginner option number two is a box push-up. So you're on your hands and knees. You can see my wrists are directed beneath my shoulder blades, my knees are underneath my hips. Dropping down, leading with the chest, going as low as possible. Option three intermediate is where you shuffle your knees away into a half plank and drop your hips down and then you come down. And obviously the last option is a full push-up. Okay, so there are your different push-up options. Now we're just gonna do straight push-ups. That's gonna be exercise number one. Exercise number two, we're going to do um, tricep extensions, kneeling. So, you can use a bag, a kettlebell, you can use a really light barbell or a dumbbell. Now, if you're gonna use a dumbbell, you're gonna have your hands like so, in what we call a diamond shape, and then you're gonna face your palms to the ceiling. If you have a kettlebell, you're just gonna hold it by the handles, and the base is gonna face down. And obviously, if you've got a bag, you're just gonna hold the bag. Now, when you do this, you wanna bring it to the nape of your neck, and overhead, squeezing the arms nice and straight, locking out the elbows and down, okay? So push-ups 
into tricep extensions. There are two exercise supersets. So we're going to do push ups for 20 seconds. Three, two, one, off you go. So squeeze your bum, drop your chest between your hands, go as low as possible. Imagine someone's put tape measure from the top of your head to your ankles. You want to create a nice straight line. If you're struggling, drop it down to a more beginner version. Okay, come into an even position. 30 seconds of, for those of you who've got barbells and not a dumbbell cast, but I'm going to show you the barbell version. So barbell version looks like this. Coming down and up. Dumbbell version, diamond shape of the hands, over the head to the length of the neck. Squeeze the elbows straight, lock the elbows out of the top. Hinge through the elbows. Imagine someone's put a pin in your elbows and you can't move them, just hinge from them. Three, two, one, and drop. Ooh, warm. Okay, we're gonna do that again. Push-ups, as slow as you can this time. Okay, think four down, four up. 20 seconds, start in three, two, one, off we go. Slow and slow. Really challenging yourself to burn more calories. Pull your belly in tight. Squeeze your bum. Eight seconds to go. Seven, six, five. Down for four seconds. And up. Onto your knees. Try some extensions for 30 seconds. Again, we're going to go down for four, three, two, one. And up four, three, two, one. One. Four seconds down to the neck, four seconds up to the ceiling. For anyone who's got a handbag or backpack, fall down, pull up. Any object you can hold, anything with a little bit of resistance, it could be a bar, vodka bottle, gin bottle, anything at all. Handbag, backpack. Whew. Give your arms a stretch. Okay, we're going to just change it slightly. So the same exercises, but with different intensity now. With our push-ups this time, we're going to drop and hold. Okay. So you're going to drop and hold for three, two, one, and up quickly. So that's a three second hold at the bottom and quick up. Down three, two, one. And we're going to do the same with the tricep extensions. We're going to drop it down and hold three, two, one and up quickly. Okay, just 20 to 25 seconds on the push-ups, make it a little bit harder. Okay, again, push-up position, down and hold for three seconds, starting in three, two, one, off we go. Drop down, hold three, two, one, up quick. Down and hold, three, two, one, and up. Down and hold, push up, down and hold. Challenge the core muscles. Down and hold, and up. Showing you the different options. And on your knees. Okay, into our tricep extensions. Off we go. Drop down and hold for three, two, one, and up and squeeze. Hold down the bottom, up and squeeze. Three, two, one, up and squeeze. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, and relax. Okay, we're gonna move on to some new exercises. Okay, new exercises. I'll show you them before we do them together. Exercise one is called scapular push-up. Now we've got various different options. You can do this on your hands and knees. You're gonna arch, lift up, drop down. So can you see how I'm pushing up to my shoulder blades and then dropping down, lifting up and down. So you can do that in a box position, in a half position, or in a full position. So my shoulders are simply doing this. So my shoulders go down, 
and then up, down, up. So my shoulders are shrugging. Okay, so that's gonna be first exercise. That's called a scapular push-up. That's exercise one. Exercise two, you're gonna do an upright row. So if you have dumbbells, you're gonna bring them up just beneath your chest and down really slowly. So dumbbell version. Barbell version, you're gonna have your hands fairly wide. Lift up and down. And of course, a backpack version, similar. So you take your hands underneath, lift up and down. Okay, so come down to the floor. Do 30 seconds of scapula push-ups. Three, two, one, up you go. So you're either in a high plank, you're on your hands and knees, or in a half plank position on your knees. So you're pushing up, rounding the spine, then dropping your shoulders, squeezing the shoulder blades together. Really good for working on shoulder strength. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come on to your feet. Upright rows. Slow up, knee to the elbows. Nice and slow. So you should feel it working, this section here, just around the armpit, the front shoulder muscle. Lift, nice and slow. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and drop. Okay, no rest, back into your scapula push-ups, off you go, on the floor. Lift up and down. Shrug your shoulders towards your ears, then drop shoulders back to the floor. Push and drop. Lift and drop. Lift, drop. 10 seconds to go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and on your feet. Upright rows. Straight in, off you go. Knee with the elbows, pull your core in tight. Knuckles facing the floor. Make sure your elbows are higher than your wrists. So your elbows should be about shoulder height, your hands just beneath your nipples. Five, four, three, two, one. Drop it down. Give them another stretch, and we're gonna do round three. Scapular push-ups, off we go. Press up, drop down, lift up, down. So I'm just moving through my upper back and shoulders. I'm pushing the floor away, shrugging my ears up and down. Whew, should feel that shoulder burn now. Working those rear deltoids, so we're working the shoulder blade muscles just above your back. Building the strength, four, three, two, and one. Back on your feet, 30 seconds, upright rows, off you go. Feel the shoulders burning. Fourteen seconds to go. Ten, nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Okay, we're done with that. We're gonna move on. We're gonna do chest and core to finish. So we're gonna do a chest press. Again, yeah, with whatever you have available. So we're gonna do the chest press on the floor. So with, if you've got a bar or dumbbells, I want you to go with a wider grip. So barbell is gonna be a wide hand position like so. And if you're using dumbbells, your palms face away, your elbows start at the ground. Make sure that when you do your barbell or your dumbbell, that you line your elbow up with your wrist, okay? So make sure your elbow and your wrist are lined up and you're just gonna push up and down with your dumbbells. And obviously if you've got your backpack, you can't really 
go wide, you just go as wide as the bag will allow you to hold it. So that's your first exercise. Second exercise is a quadruped hold. So two options, option one, on your hands and knees, you're gonna tuck your toes under, lift your knees up about a quarter of an inch, hold. And option two, if you struggle with this one, is a half plank. Okay, so as if I'm gonna do a half push up, I'm just gonna hold that. Right, let's start with our chest lines, uh, sorry, chest press. In three, two, one. Palms face away, elbows touch the floor, lift up to the center. If you have dumbbells, nice and wide, take it out. Knuckles face the ceiling. Make sure that your wrists are not positioned backwards. Keep your wrists in line with your knuckles. Down to the floor, nice and wide. Working chest, shoulders, and the triceps. Keep it going. Nice and slow. Okay, pop them down, whatever equipment you have. Goes down, and we're gonna go into our plank hold or quadruped hold, okay? So if you're coming in a quadruped hold with me, you're gonna go on your hands and knees, tuck your toes under, you're gonna lift up in three, two, one. Lift and hold. Now, if I was to come over to you and put a bottle of wine in your back, you shouldn't move. So you wanna keep your back nice and flat. You don't want your bum in the air. Your knees should be almost touching the floor. Make sure your knees are underneath your hips. So just do a little check. Are your knees underneath your hips? Are your wrists under your shoulders? Five, four, three, two, one, and drop. Okay, we've got our last few minutes. We're almost there. Go back into your chest press. In three, two, and one off you go. Lift up to the middle. You have your dumbbells. All wide barbell. So make sure with your barbell, come down to the floor, up to the ceiling, pushing away. Make sure you line, check. Are your wrists over your elbows at the bottom? Do they line up? If your wrists are in, not over your elbows, you need to take your hands up wider. Okay, pop the equipment down that you have and you're gonna go into your hold. Okay, I'm gonna do the beginner version with whoever's doing it. So, half a plank hold like so, or a quadruped hold from the side so I can show you. Okay, so here's your beginner option. This is a half plank position. 14 seconds to go. Pull your core in tight, tense your belly. Imagine someone's gonna punch you in the stomach as I'm tension to be. Five, four, three, two, and one. Last round now, and then we're gonna stretch. <sighs> nice and quick, get the job done. Right, let's go back into chest press, last round, straight in, no rest, down and up. Chest, shoulders, triceps, it's a full upper body session, working all the major muscle groups, focusing on compounds, so we burn more calories, with more muscle fibers, higher intensity, building strength, building muscle, helping with fat burn. Keep it going, almost there, and drop it down. Okay, we're finished with your half plank hold, a quadrant hold, off we go. Last 30 seconds, and we're gonna stretch. Whew. Who else's shoulders are on fire? 20 seconds to go, big deep breaths. Easy, 13 seconds. 10, nine, eight, seven, five, three, two, and one. Okay, let's stretch out. So come on to your knees. We're gonna start with an extended puppy pose. So on your, in an even position, Reach your wrists forwards and drop your armpits to the floor. So my bum is in the air, off my heels. My hands are forwards. So you should feel a nice deep stretch through your chest and shoulders. And we're going to go into a cat cow on your hands and knees. You're going to round your tummy, tuck your bum in, look into your pelvis, 
Look forward, squeeze your shoulder blades, stick your bum out, stick your chest out. Tuck everything in, hunch up, arch. Stick your bum out, stick your chest out. Up, down, cow, and cat. Lift, drop. Okay, we're gonna do a little bit of back mobility. So on this, in this hand to knees position, you're gonna take this hand through, drop your ear, keep this hand down. Drop your head to the floor, then you're going to feed the hand through. Look up to your fingers, back down, we're going to do four more. Really great if you've got any back pain or soreness. Keep the back nice and mobile. And switch other side, feed it through. Listen to the floor. Can you hear that? Nope, nothing. <laughs> Nothing's going on on the floor, but you're going to stick your ear there. Pretend you're listening to something interesting. Okay, come into the kneeling position. We can kneel up. Just going to start with shoulder stretch. And change. And take it over the top into a tricep stretch. Big deep breath. And switch. Oh, wrong word. Yeah. And we're just going to do one more back stretch. So come down to the floor, chest down, start in a half cobra, forearms touching the ground. So you should feel a really nice stretch in your lower back here. Then push up if you can into extended cobra. Now think about pushing your hips down, dropping your shoulders down. And if any of you can, you're going to go into an upward cobra. So, uh, sorry, upward dog even. So this time you're going to lift your hips up, hold yourself here. Now tuck your toes under, downward facing dog, and drop back into an upward facing dog. So you're almost in a cobra, but your hips are lifted. Downward facing dog, upward facing dog, downward, upward. Down, up. Now, stay in the downward facing dog, walk your feet to your hands, hug your elbows, and lift up. Come over to the right, lean over to the left, and shake it out. Well done, everyone. I'm just going to take a photo while you're off cameras, okay? So you can keep it off or smile. I can blank you out, by the way, if you don't know any names in there. Amazing, well done everyone. Did fantastic, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks Rox, that was fab. Oh yeah, we always really enjoy Roxy. <laughs> He's like, oh I hated that. <laughs> oh, not more. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing, thanks, thanks Alan. Thanks Katie, thanks Yeah, Rox. thank you, it was good fun. Thanks Rox. Speak to you later, bye. Bye. bye.